channel. In this video, we will discuss about how to implement thread in Java. What is thread? Thread is a simple method which will execute simultaneously along with other part of the program. Okay, we'll see definition. Thread is a lightweight subprocess. It is a separate path of execution because each thread runs in a different stack frame. That is the beauty of thread. Threads share the process resources but still uh, they execute independently even though it shares the same process resources one process resources though they execute independently threads don't depend on each other so there are, like we'll see what are the life cycle states of thread first uh, a new and runnable running then block state or wait we can call non-runnable after that it will go to runnable again run once a run method exits or stops then it will go to a terminated or dead state we'll call for example new state new state is nothing but whenever we define the we create the object of thread class that is called uh, um, new state so it is not ready once we call start method on the thread object then it will come to runnable state it is not running at so just a thread is handed over to a thread scheduler scheduler decides how to run uh, how much time it will run those things will be taken care by thread scheduler depends upon the operating system okay while running if you call a wait method or suspend method, if any I.O. operations are there, then if you take the lock, that time uh, thread will go from running state to blocked state. We can call a waiting state. So again, uh, we can resume that one uh, by calling a notify method or notify all means all waiting threads will come to runnable state and resume. Uh, when uh, 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 other one is uh, lock, uh, whenever uh, uh, lock is available, that time it will come back to runnable state that time also it is not running state it is a runnable state it is handed over to thread scheduler thread scheduler will take the decision when to run which thread to run how much time thread has to be executed those things will be decided by the thread scheduler depends upon the operating system so um, the, then uh, it, next uh, stage is uh, running stage once uh, run method is uh, completes uh, then it will go to terminator thread uh, dead state these are the life cycle state of uh, thread method then we come to then we will go to how to create the threads there are two ways we can create the threads in java one is uh, by extending a thread class another one is uh, by implementing a runnable interface here thread is a class yeah. runnable is a interface thread has uh, many methods runnable interface is having only one method that is thread uh, run method we will see implementation okay so first uh, we will define the thread by extending thread class i already created one package com.javahangout.thread right click on this package new class type my thread this is the class name so by default all the classes in the java uh, uh, extends object class we can override by browsing this in our case we have to extend the thread class thread type automatically it will come thread which is available in java.lang package so if you want you can select the generate comments also checkbox so it will automatically generate the uh, comments see author is uh, variation variation is the uh, system user system user so it will take off by default uh, that one only if you want we can update that one okay so for defining threads uh, we have to override the run method which is available in thread as well as runnable interface 
here uh, uh, important thing is uh, thread method uh, implements the runnable interface and extends uh, um, object class uh, so that uh, run, up, run method will be available here run oh, you can uh, there is a shortcut right click here the resource override or implement methods of superclass here thread class having these many uh, methods uh, whatever we want but we want to override uh, run method just to select that uh, checkbox uh, and click uh, if you want you can uh, select the checkbox uh, of uh, generate method comments also click ok so it is generated so you can delete so this is the run method which is available in thread class we have overridden so overridden uh, annotation also is there just we will define uh, one uh, for loop uh, which print prints uh, 0 to 10 for int uh, i is equal to 10 i less than uh, 10 semicolon colon i plus plus it will increment so if you want uh, uh, it will start from zero hmm? uh, i int i is equal to zero if you give zero it will start zero if you give one it will start from one we will print system dot s o s s y s o this is a shortcut and the control space it will give it will print we no need to type complete system dot out dot print align. okay done uh, we can print the thread name also thread dot thread dot okay thread dot current thread dot get name get id both are there use get name it will be a more or a descriptive way plus uh, if you want to uh, put the space space plus i print this one. this is how we can define the thread in java by extending thread class this is the one way and the second way is uh, we can uh, we can uh, define the thread uh, by extending implementing runnable interface we will define one more thread by implementing runnable interface so class uh, my runnable these are the just uh, for demo purpose i'm using names so names should be proper in the real time projects so we are we have to add the interface right not uh, a super class so add just type runnable 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 interface also available in java dot long package okay it's added so if you see already by default it is uh, selected inherited uh, abstract methods otherwise uh, this uh, my runnable class will become uh, abstract okay so as i told uh, runnable interface is having uh, one abstract uh, um, method uh, that is a run method that's why it is by default it is added we can also uh, here uh, option is do you want to add comments if you want to add comments uh, we can select this checkbox as well adding comments is the uh, good thing in real time projects so that uh, to, uh, today you define the any logic or implement uh, any um, the class so tomorrow if new developer comes and look into that one if you provide the more uh, comments in uh, comments so that he can understand easily without struggling so suggestible is we have, uh, better to add the comments in the real time uh, projects okay uh, this is here also just it is a for just for test test right demo purpose we can define here also for loop which prints from 0 to 10 okay same thing but uh, thread dot uh, uh, current thread dot name is there this name will be different and this name will be different we will see how to test this one okay now we define the threads in two ways uh, one is uh, thread uh, by using a thread class another one is uh, by using a runnable interface okay now we will test this one uh, again right click a new class 
thread the test or else my thread thread the test okay so this is a thread class we must select the main method because we are not using any testing framework like junit mockito those things right it is just for demo purpose comments that's it okay we defined the thread test class as well now we have to create the object of my thread thread class my thread control space my thread equal to new my thread not test my thread okay that's it my thread okay extends my thread my thread okay we defined and we we defined and we created instance of this thread class now which is the method available in my thread class this is a run method so if you call run method directly it will execute as a normal method not as a thread so that thread class provided one more method called thread we have to call the thread method instead of run method so that this thread thread start method will start the run method as a thread that means Uh, this uh, thread class uh, will hand over, hand over the uh, run method to the shed threadler to schedule this uh, run method as a thread okay uh, we will run now see thread 0 it started from 0 to 9 that means 10 according to our logic we are using for loop which prints uh, 0 to less than 10 that means 9 so what is the thread current thread name uh, thread 0 if we are not seeing any difference right if you run uh, run method also it will print 0 to 9 then how can we test this one uh, how can we test this one whether it is uh, running as a thread or not so Yeah. Okay. Now we will use a runnable interface also. We will see. We will create the object of a runnable class. My runnable class. So uh, here runnable. Uh, yeah. Here one one important point is runnable. Whenever we define the interface, uh, whenever we define the thread by using runnable interface, runnable interface having a run method. it doesn't have start method uh, if you create the object of runnable uh, class uh, then uh, run uh, start method won't be available we it will be available only run method so if you call directly run method so it will uh, execute as a normal uh, method not uh, as a thread so so that uh, there is uh, we have to create the instance of a thread class by passing a runnable runnable uh, my runnable class instance okay thread my runnable equal to new thread okay we have to we have to pass instance of my runnable class okay yes so now what what and all methods are available in this class those we can use here right so run we must use start method to run the method as a thread without start method run method won't behave as a thread mr dot start okay now Uh, we have two threads uh, one is uh, my thread uh, another one is uh, uh, runnable thread right uh, 
will run whether it runs sequentially or simultaneously concurrently we will see if it runs concurrently simultaneously then these both run methods are running as a threads okay we will test that one right click see how many threads are there thread 1 thread 1 and uh, uh, thread thread 0 to 9 and uh, here uh, thread uh, 1 is a runnable one okay this is the my thread this is a my runnable one but here uh, running both are running in sequential way right so we will see we will see here uh, main method is the main thread so we will define here also one for loop so here thread dot current thread dot get name it will return a different name uh, it will return a name of the main thread okay we will run now see output is the most important thing here so thread 0 means my thread thread 1 means runnable thread main thread means main thread see first it printed 0 to 6 of uh, my thread class run method and then uh, it came back to um, main thread and it prints uh, uh, main dot main in main method 0 then uh, it went back to my thread and it prints uh, only one iteration that is 7 then it go uh, it uh, it went to a runnable interface that is thread uh, 1 it prints it printed a complete 0 to 9 and it came back again to main thread it started from already it printed 0 then main 1 main 2 main 3 main 4 it went back to again my thread that means this is a printing concurrently simultaneously not parallelly this is the beauty of threads so that what happens here uh, we can execute the uh, n number of tasks uh, simultaneously so that uh, we no need to wait for the output of a particular method that is the beauty of threads thank you for watching the video